Hello guys, welcome back to another video and yesterday I was not able to make a video because I was uh, busy with some other stuff so today I got time to uh, make a video on the latest version of uh, Oxygen which they have released and that is uh, guys that is a stable version 4.1.5 before we had uh, beta versions available for uh, OnePlus devices OnePlus 3 and OnePlus 3T so now they have released a stable version uh, that is 4.1.5 so in this video I'll be quickly telling you how to install that and after that we'll take a look over a look what is the uh, features available in that and uh, what are the additional uh, things they have added so for that uh, guys if, if you are on stock recovery you can just uh, install using stock recovery or use VPN application to download the OT update and if you guys have TWRP recovery do not use VPN app uh, application because uh, it will break your device and again then you have to flash the complete firmware so those guys who are running stock recovery they can use vpn application to install the ota update that will be uh, somewhere around 93 mb of file but uh, other guys who are using twrp recovery or uh, who wants to uh, install the complete firmware they can just download the complete firmware from the download links given below and uh, once you are downloaded you can just move to a TWRP recovery and install that. So let's start. First, I'll reboot my device to TWRP recovery. Right now, I'm running on beta version that is open beta version 17, that is for OnePlus 3. So, and the same uh, security patch is first May 2017 in this. So, let's boot to TWRP recovery first. So, once the device boots to TWRP recovery, I won't be wiping anything i'll just go to install and install the latest firmware that is a stable version 4.1.5 so this is the one which is uh, the latest one uh, that is uh, ota 53 so i'll select this and confirm to flash so once the process is completed just hit uh, reboot system and we'll wait for the device to reboot and we'll check what are the latest features or the new uh, implements done in this firmware So now your device reboots and uh, what I'll do is I'll just go to settings and check uh, the update file. So I go to uh, settings and about about phone. In this you can see you have Oxygen OS 4.1.5. This is not a beta version and it's still not Android 7.1.2. It's uh, still based on the older version 7.1.1. And the security patch which is May 1st 2017 which I told you that is from the beta version that was also on the same security patch so these are the change logs in the uh, about so next quickly i'll uh, check on website uh, their official forum what is the change logs available and what are the new features in this so i just hit all plus forum so this is the one which was released uh, or rolled out yesterday that was 7th and today it's uh, 8th of june so under some highlights uh, new additions have been also done they say add added system push notification for important uh, information from oneplus so it's uh, something like this if any uh, important message from oneplus or any uh, update from oneplus that will be shown in the notification and you will get the notification of any news or any update rolled out by uh, oneplus they uh, roll out updates very quickly so it's good to see something like this you get a notification about uh, what are the new features coming on uh, coming up and uh, new release dates so these things will be uh, shown as notification so the next they have updated few uh, things in this only new edition uh, was uh, system push notification they have updated network setting for selected carriers so network settings it depends on the different carriers at and or uh, other uh, different uh, uh, carriers available and uh, after that you have uh, oneplus community app updated to version 8 1.8 so these are minor updates uh, which doesn't matter a lot few bug fix will be there in the community app then updated android security patch level to first may which i have already told you so modified wi-fi no internet uh, indication icon i never get no indication uh, icon on my wi-fi settings because uh, I have a great router and uh, I never face such issues. If you guys are facing any issues, such, do let me know in the comment if it is solved or not because I never face such issues. And later they have a bug fix, bug fix which they say is fixed storage issue present on third party file manager. I don't use third party file manager because OnePlus file manager is brilliant and uh, 
I do root the phones and I use uh, many other stuff, but I have never used uh, third party uh, uh, file managers. Fix volt issues on certain Geo SIM cards. It this is certain Geo SIM cards, but I don't, I have never got any issue on Geo SIM cards. It's always great, they work properly, internet works properly. So I have only one Geo SIM card which I just purchased for uh, testing purpose and it works great. Fix a connection issue on Android Auto. Android Auto is not available in India or uh, so I won't be able to tell you that. Next they say optimizations and uh, other optimizations they have few optimizations done for battery, Wi-Fi, Bluetooth and GPS. Proximity sensors, camera low light focus, I don't know, camera low light focus, let's test after uh, this installation and uh, expanded screenshots. So expanded screenshots uh, is one of the best features they have got into it and uh, it was always a great. So a few optimization must have done in that and if you guys doesn't know how to take an uh, expanded screenshot, you can always pre uh, press and hold volume down and power button together. So once the screenshot is taken, you can just press on this uh, icon which was available. And if you tap the screen anywhere, once your uh, screenshot is finished, it will stop there and capture that screenshot. So I just tap it here and now I'll show you the screenshot which they, it has been captured. So you can see the complete screenshot which is... Uh, pretty long and you have almost everything covered from this page so this is the feature of uh, extended screenshot they have just optimized a uh, few things in that so next we see okay and the last one is other changes enhanced system stability so this is guys it's uh, totally it depends on how uh, you use your device and how you get to know whether it's, they have enhanced system stability or not. It actually varies from user to user how you guys use the device. So these are the changes guys. Uh, I don't want to extend the video much. So if you guys like the video, do give me a thumbs up. And if you're new to my channel, do not forget to subscribe to the channel. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.